Hey guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to model a retaining wall in Civil 3D just like the one that you're seeing on the screen right now. So as you can see right now, I have an existing ground surface and if I open this up in the object viewer, you can see that it's just the hill and it's sloping down towards the right. And to get started, I'm just going to draw in a rectangle and that's going to represent our building's platform. Okay, so now you can see that I've drawn in my rectangle and now I'm going to create a feature line from this rectangle to represent the building platform. So I'm going to create feature lines from objects and I'm going to click on the rectangle and I'm going to press enter. And I'm going to give it an elevation of 22 meters. And so let's open up the feature line and the existing ground surface in the object viewer. And you can see that this is what it sort of looks like. So essentially we're going to have a retaining wall along this edge and then this side we're just going to batter up to the existing ground. So I'm going to create a surface that's going to represent the finished ground levels. So I'm going to come here to surfaces, click on create surface, and I'm just going to name the surface FGL. And so I'm just going to add our feature line to the finished ground level surface as a break line. And you can see now our building platform has been created. Okay, so now we can create our retaining wall using the grading tool in Civil 3D. So what I'm gonna do is click on the feature line that represents our building platform and we're going to go to grading creation tools. And you can see that Civil 3D has opened the grading creation tools for us. And if I click on this button here, I can set the grading group and you can see that I've already set the grading group to grading group one and the site is site one. And then I'm gonna click on this button to set the target surface and you can see I've set the surface to existing ground level surface. So this is what our grading is going to target. And I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna select surface at slope this is what I usually use when I'm using the grading tool. And now I'm going to click on this button here to create the grading. And so Civil 3D is prompting me to select the feature line that I want to select. And I'm going to select the building platform feature line. And I'm going to select the grading side that's outside of the building platform and I'm going to click yes to apply the grading to the entire length and here I'm going to choose 2 and 1 for the slope of the cut and here I'm going to change the fill slope to 0 0.01 and this is going to be a really steep slope which basically allows us to model in the retaining wall because our retaining wall is essentially a vertical surface Okay, cool. So now I can see that the grading has been created and if I open this up in the object viewer. Cool, so you can see our retaining wall has been created and you can also see that the batter for where we're going to have cut has also been created. And this has a slope of 1 and 2. Okay, so now we can add the feature line that's been created from the grading to our finished ground level surface. So if I just click on this feature line here and go to add to surface as break line, then I'm going to select the FGL surface, click OK, OK, and you can see it's been added to our surface. And you can see around the edges here, some extra additional lines have been added, which we don't want. And just to show you what this looks like in the object viewer,
You can see that Civil 3D has added these extra lines here as the software has connected this point and this point here automatically, but we don't want that. So what we're going to do is select the surface, go to Edit Surface, click on Delete Line, and select these edges to delete them and press enter. And then I'm going to do the same for this side as well. And now you can see our surface has been tidied up. And yeah, that's basically how you create a retaining wall in Civil 3D. And hopefully this video was useful to you and thank you so much for watching.